Welcome to my video about exploring the dark themes of Mori. This game has gained a lot of attention for its unique storyline and emotional depth. But what are the themes that make Mori such a powerful experience? One of the most striking aspects of Mori is its surreal and often disturbing imagery. The game's dream world is filled with strange creatures, unsettling environments, and ominous music it permeates the entire game. The game's visuals and aesthetics play a significant role in conveying its themes. The use of color in Amori is particularly noteworthy. The game's dream world is bathed in bright and vivid colors, while the real world is depicted in mute and desaturated tones. This contrast not only serves to distinguish the two worlds, but also reflects the protagonist's emotional state. Amori's real life is dull and unremarkable, but his dream world is full of wonder and excitement. Furthermore, the game's use of symbolism is also worth mentioning. With the red hands that symbolize guilt in white space that represents Amori's repressed memories, the game is filled with subtle imagery that adds layers of meaning to the narrative. These symbols are not only decorative elements, but are woven into the very fabric of the game's themes. The game employs a variety of visual motifs to convey its theme and create a cohesive aesthetic. For example, the use of water is a reoccurring theme in Amori, symbolizing emotions and unconscious mind. The game's dream world was often depicted as being underwater with characters swimming or floating through the environment. This not only adds to the game's surreal atmosphere, but also reinforces the idea that our emotions can be overwhelming and all-consuming. Another visual motif used in Amori is the use of mirrors. Mirrors are a powerful symbol in the game, representing self-reflection and the ability to see oneself clearly. Throughout the game, the characters are shown looking into mirrors, often with distorted or fragmented reflections. This emphasizes the idea that our perceptions of ourselves can be distorted by our emotions and past experiences. But it's the characters of Amori that truly bring the game's themes to life. Each character represents a different aspect of Amori's psyche, and their struggles with mental health are portrayed with a sensitivity and nuance. From Aubrey's guilt over past mistake to Kel's fear of abandonment, the characters of Amori are all dealing with their own demons. The story of Amori is intentionally ambiguous, leaving many questions unanswered. But this ambiguity allows players to interpret the game's themes in their own way. Some players see Amori as a commentary on the importance of facing one's fears and seeking help when needed. Others see it as a cautionary tale about the dangers of repressing one's emotion. Amori's themes of mental health and trauma are not only explored through its story and characters, but also through its gameplay mechanics. Players must navigate through various battles and puzzles in the dream world using different abilities and skills to progress. These gameplay mechanics can be seen as a representation of Mori's coping mechanism as he fights his inner demons and overcomes the struggles in the dream world. The game's battle system also reflects the themes of mental health and trauma. Players must balance their party's emotions such as happiness, anger, and sadness to use their abilities effectively. This not only adds a layer of strategy to the gameplay, but also emphasizes the importance of managing one's own emotions and a mental state. The game often presents players with difficult decisions, forcing them to consider the consequences of their actions. This not only adds to the game's replayability, but also reinforces the idea that our choices have real impact on our mental health and well-being. It's worth mentioning that Amori's themes are not only relevant to the game's fictional world, but also to our own lives. The game serves as a reminder the importance of mental health and the need to seek help when we are struggling. It also underscores the fact that everyone has their own inner demons to face and that we must be empathetic and understanding toward those who are dealing with their own struggles. One of the most interesting aspects of Amori is the way it challenges traditional game design conventions. The game often breaks the fourth wall, acknowledging the player's presence and questioning the nature of reality. This not only leads to the game's surrealist tone, but also emphasizes the idea that our perceptions of reality are often shaped by our mental states. In addition to its themes of mental health, Amori also touches on the subject of friendship. The game's story explores the bonds between the characters and the impact they have on each other's lives. Through their interactions, the games emphasize the importance of having a support system and the positive effects that friendship can have on one's mental health. Moreover, Amori's themes extend beyond the individual and into the societal. This game portrays a world in which societal pressures and expectations can exacerbate mental health issues, as well as the pressures placed on them by their parents and peers.
Another aspect of Amori that is worth noting is the way it uses humor to tackle dark themes. The game often employs this dark sense of humor to lighten the mood. While still remaining true to its themes, this not only adds to the game's overall tone, but also serves as a reminder that laughter can be a powerful coping mechanism. It's also interesting to note the game's use of dream logic. The dream world in Amori often defies logic and rationality, reflecting the chaotic nature of the protagonist's inner world. This not only adds to the game's surreal tone, but also highlights the subjective nature of our perceptions and experiences. Furthermore, Amori's use of multiple endings adds to its replayability and encourages players to explore different paths and outcomes. The different endings also offer a chance for players to reflect on the game's themes and impact of their choices. Finally, it's worth mentioning the impact that Amori has had on its audience. The game's themes have resonated with many players, myself included, sparking discussions about mental health and the importance of seeking help. Moreover, the game's emotional impact has led many players to create fan art and fan fiction further extending the game's impact beyond its original release. Amori also incorporates elements of traditional horror into its design. The game features jump scares, creepy environments, and unsettling sound effects, all of which contribute to its sense of dread and unease. However, unlike traditional horror games, Amori's horror elements are not gratuitous. Instead, they serve to reinforce the game's themes and create a deeper emotional impact. One of the most interesting things about Amori is the way it invites players to engage with, with its themes on a personal level. The game's stories and characters are open to interpretation, allowing players to draw their own conclusions and make their own connections. This encourages players to reflect on their own experiences and emotions, making the game a truly immersive and thought-provoking experience. Horror is a genre that often deals with themes of fear and the unknown, and Amori uses these themes to great effect. The game's dream world is filled with creepy environments and unsettling creatures that are designed to invoke a sense of unease in the player. The game's use of jump scares and sudden changes in tone also contribute to this sense of horror. However, the horror elements of Amori are not just there to scare the player. They are also used to reinforce the game's themes of mental health and trauma. The horror elements are often tied to the character's inner demons and fears, reflecting their struggles with mental health issues. For example, one of the game's most iconic horror sequences involves a black space the space is a visual representation of Mori's repressed fears and memories, and the fear of confronting them. Mori's impact on the gaming industry has been significant, particularly in the indie game scene. The game's unique storytelling and thematic elements have inspired a new wave of games that explore similar topics. The success of Mori has also shown that there is a demand for games that tackle mental health and trauma in a sensitive and nuanced way. The game's story and gameplay mechanics often defy expectations, creating a unique and memorable experience. For example, the game's turn-based battles are not simply about defeating enemies, but also about managing the emotional state of the party members. It adds a layer of depth to the combat, and reinforces the game's themes of mental health and emotional regulation. Amori is a game that has many layers to its themes, which is why it continues to captivate players and inspire discussions about its story and characters. Hey, it's Editor Basil here. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video all the way through. This has definitely been one of my longest editing projects I've done. It's taken me a day and a half of just pure editing. I'd say it's been about 10 hours. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you even made it this far, most people don't. Just remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you again for watching this video. Peace.